just making sure everything back here is is all right. I'm noticing uh, this, um, which is obviously where the diff mount bolts to the chassis. Um, I mean, that one, the, the bush underneath it feels a little loose. But on this side, you can see the bolt has almost come off and the, the bush behind it is really loose. I don't know if you can see Look at this. Um, so yeah, I might have to sort of look into that a little bit and see if I can tighten this up a little bit and get the Haynes manual to tell me how tight this needs to be. But yeah, that's that's not gonna help if that is kind of riding around on there. Um, but yeah. So here we are on a lovely sunny day and last night I uh, managed to get the back plate off the diff and the new one I've got is for uh, it's right here. It's already been under sealed. It's still a little bit tacky, still drying. Um, but yeah, really good condition, like that one. Um, uh, so it's getting this new one in because what's <clears throat> happening under here is, as you can see, I'm supporting the diff. The wheels are up on blocks. The, here we go, look, the diff plate is finally off the back there's a bit of a mess under there these nuts were really hard to get off but anyway they've come off as you can see the old one is completely corroded um, absolutely knackered uh, so my problem is now getting this out because there's a lip at the top and I can't get that over the studs I can't really take it out sideways because there aren't enough room so what I'm going to try and do is jack up the trailing arm, move the block out to support the body, and I'll do that one by one on both sides, so that hopefully we can then start to drop the diff and pivot it on the two uh, corner mounts over there, drop it down enough to be able to get the plate in and out, either slip it over the top and out or bring it back this way. There might not be enough clearance between the boot and that to get it out this way, but it might slip over the top and out, we'll see. Anyway, that's my plan for today.